in this short video I want to show you how to play the game backwards. What I mean by that is this. In a previous video I showed you that if we were looking for the probability that we had a z uh, less than, that's shaded to the left, of negative 1.32 we had an area of 0 0.0934 right? and again you can refer back to that previous video if you'd like but what I mean by playing the game backwards is this what if this time I give you the probability and I ask you what the corresponding z-score is in other words if I if I asked you um, to find the z-score that corresponds to 0 0.0250 something like that for example do you see that you're given the probability this time this time you are given I'm telling you what the area under the curve is but I'm not telling you what the Z score is I'm not telling you what the Z number is and that's what we have to try to find what's also very important in this problem is the less than symbol that's sitting right here this is a less than symbol and it's pointing to the left that is important so picture wise again really really think about the entire picture that's going on here because that will hopefully really help things and make things clear for you is this I have right this is a standard normal curve I am trying to look for right I'm trying to look for a Z score a Z number either over here or over here that if I shade to the left of it Right? If I shade to the left of it, it's going to give me an area of 0 0.0250. And again, it's shaded to the left because that's a less than symbol. Well, think about that for just a second. If I shade to the left of this thing right here, right? this is it's going to give me a positive Z number. This one over here is a positive Z number because it's to the right of 0. If I shade to the left of that, boy, that's a lot of area, isn't it? That's a lot of curve. In fact, it's more than half because again it's symmetrical so half of the area is over here on this side of zero and the other half is sitting over there well that number 0 0.0250 is less than half so it must be I must be looking for a z-score that is negative not a positive z-score it's got to be this one this area makes more sense geometrically here graphically right it kind of corresponds to this one it's a number smaller than 0.5 and this shaded area is less than half it's less than 0.5 so I'm looking I'm looking for a negative z-score that's what it's gonna be this number here when I'm done and I stick it in there it's gonna be a negative something that I know for sure okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm simply gonna look on this table and I keep referring to this table over here because that's what we keep using in our book I'm gonna look over here for a negative z-score and but this time though I'm looking in this area I'm looking in the probability area this is this is probability this is area under the curve shaded to the left see that shaded to the left so I'm trying to find a number in this area here that corresponds to point Oh, and if you look at that and you look really hard you'll see that it comes out to be a negative 1.96 alright so look at that try to find that if you can but you'll see that it comes out to be this thing right here turns out to be a negative 1.96 that is the Z score I'll stick it in right now negative 1.96 there we go that is the Z score that corresponds to shading to the left that will give me an area of point 0250. All right, let's try some other problems like this one. I've got three more, and then we'll call it quits in this video. Take a look at these. Take a look at these. We'll take them one at a time. All right, so take a look at this first one here. I'm trying to find, again, do you notice that this is a less than symbol? So I'm shading to the left, and I'm trying to find an area of 9292. All right, well, this time, picture wise right this time picture wise this is what I've got going on here I'll do it quickly Ooh, that's terrible um, okay but anyways what I've got is uh, I'm looking for if this is zero sitting in the middle I'm looking for a Z score that if I shade to the left right if I shade to the left because that's a less than symbol I'm gonna get 0.9292 now look that's a lot bigger than 0.5 so it's gotta be a Z number way out here somewhere do you guys agree because if I shade to the left 
look, that's a lot of area over there. In fact, it's more than more than half, right? It's 0.5. It's more than 0.5. So I'm looking for a positive number this time, right? Looking for a positive number this time. That's what the z is going to be. Again, I don't know what it is just yet, but I know it's going to be a positive number that's going to sit right here. OK, so I'm going to go to my table over here, this time looking for a positive z score. Right, looking for a positive z score. Look, that's all shaded to the left. And I'm going to come up with a total, uh, let's see, the z number that I'm going to correspond to 9292 comes out to be 1.47. That's a positive 1.47. OK, so that's what I'm going to stick right here. 1.47. That must have been the positive z-score, and I'm going to put that here in my answer as well, 1.47. Okay, so I can play the game backwards. I can, instead of giving you the z and asking you what's the area shaded to the left, I could ask you, given the area, what's the z? That's playing the game backwards. Okay, the last two examples, and I'll go real quickly through them, slightly different than the first two I just showed you, because, look, that's a greater than symbol. That means we're shading to the right this time. All right, we're shading to the right. All right, here's the picture. Let's see if I can draw a better picture this time. Ooh, very nice. Okay, so this time, if z, if zero is sitting right in the middle, I'm looking for a z score. Looking for a z score that if I shade to the right, if I shade to the right, I'm going to have an area of 0.2389. Well, if I shaded to the right of this z score over here, which is a negative z. If I shaded to the right of that, you'd see that I've got a lot of area. In fact, more than half, right? Half is sitting right here. So it must be that I'm looking for a positive z score, right? A positive z number. This is what I'm looking for. Because this 0.2389, being less than half, must be that shaded area. All right, now this is a little bit tricky because I'm not looking up 2389 in my table. What I'm going to look up instead, because keep in mind that this table here, right, this table here, guys, is a shaded to the left table, even for both positive and negative. It's shaded to the left stuff. So what I'm going to look up in the table then is I'm going to look up the complement of this number, right, the complement of this number. I have to take this number away from 1, and that's the number that I'm going to look up on my table. Now that number taken away from 1, I hope you see, is 0.7611, right? This is what I'm going to look up, 0.7611. And if you look that up on your table, uh, let's see, the corresponding Z number is 0 0.71. I hope you see that, 0 0.71. That's the Z number that I have, positive, OK? Positive, 0 0.71. And for the last one, let's try this one out. Notice that this probability is bigger than 0.5, right? Notice that probability is bigger than 0.5. All right, let's draw a picture. That's really going to help. 0 sitting in the middle there. See if I can scoot that down. OK, um, I'm shading to the right. I'm getting a probability of 8238. It's got to be a z number that's sitting over here somewhere. It's got to be. Because if I shade to the right of that, look, I'm going to end up with an area, a total area of that's a, a number that's bigger than half, right? Because this much over here is 0.5. This, this stuff over here is half. So this number is bigger than half. It's got to be a z-score that's sitting over here. And what kind of numbers are on the left-hand side of 0? Negative numbers, negative numbers. All right, so I know this for sure. I know for sure that this z, even though I don't know what it is just yet, is got to be a negative number. Okay, It's got to be a negative something. OK, but again, because I'm shading to the right, I can't use the table just exactly as is. I need to take the complement of this thing. I need to do 1 right, minus this 8238. And 1 minus that 8238 comes out to be, let's see, what is that here? I've got 1762, I believe it is. So I'm actually looking up 1762 on my table. And I've got it exactly. Hey, that corresponds to a z number of negative 0.93. Right, negative 0.93. So I knew the negative was going to be there. 0.93 is the rest of it. That's a 0 0.93 if you want to think of it that way. So this z number here is negative uh, 0 0.93. 
that is the z number that corresponds to this probability shaded to the right all of this stuff shaded to the right gives me a total area of 8238 hope that helps